Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and this is a video for chapter 13 of the book Quantitative Social Science Data with R, second edition. So in this video, what we're going to do is looking at how to test the parallel regression assumption in R. Parallel regression assumption is, is one that's made by ordered outcome models. Um, there's a bunch of details about it, but the basic idea is that there's an assumption that the effect of a predictor is roughly the same um, across the categories of our outcome variable. So um, the effect of, of say, our, our Scottish identity variable is the same if we compared um, never trust to sometimes trust or we compared sometimes trust to always trust, sorry, sometimes trust to usually trust, some combinations like that. It's the idea that if we were to take these and instead of doing an ordered um, model that we did a binary, like we broke up our outcome variable into a set of binary, that the effect of our predictor should be roughly the same. Um, if it doesn't, then we can't trust the results we get. So there is a simple way to test for this in R. It's called the Brandt test. Um, and that's what it does. It compares the sort of combinations of categories uh, to see to see if, if the effects are roughly the same. So we're going to load the package Brandt, which I think only does this. <laughs> it's like the one thing. Um, it could be because at least, in, I don't know, a handful of years, years ago, there wasn't a really simple way to do, to test this in, um, in R. So I think someone just like created this and they're like, dude, we need something simple to do. Okay. Um, so let's run this. Uh, so we have library Brant, got that in, and then we're going to do, uh, the, the function is just Brant, Brant, and then there are saved model. So model dot logit. Okay, so this um, this is pretty clear. We see down here, this is the null hypothesis. All right, the parallel regression assumption holds. So we want to look at the om omnibus. And we're looking to see probability 0 0.05. Again, that's our kind of standard. Um, if it's equal to or below 0 0.05, then we reject the null and assume that we have violated the parallel regression assumption. Um, here, we, you know, according to our cut point, we do not. Um, if, if we do, then what we would do is look to see, like, who's causing problems. <laughs> um, so, let, so let's imagine that this probability was below 0.05, uh, and these were the same results. We'd be like, oh, age is a problem. Um, the solution that we have is we could use a nominal or outcome model, which is sort of the next section of, of our videos, but also in the book. Or we can use a, a generalized ordered outcome model um, where you sort of vary the assumption for the predictors. So we would apply the parallel regression assumption for ref vote and Scott, but not for age. So age would be sort of the in the would would be individual as if it was nominal. Um, the truth in the matter, or sort of the practical application, is that most people just ignore this, <laughs> and they say people don't like test for it. Um, very rarely will I see published research where people mention that they tested for it and everything was fine. Um, but again, that is the I don't know that you know that's how it works. So uh, one last thing on this is that. Uh, the parallel regression assumption also goes by the name the proportional odds assumption, um, which might be slightly confusing because odds can only be used, sort of odds within odds ratio context, all right, uh, can only be used with logit. So you might be like, what's going on? Why can't I, you know, can we not use this with logit? Does log or not, sorry, uh, does this not apply to probit models? Like, are we off the hook here? No, it's it still applies. Um, so that's why I, I like to use the, the 
parallel regression assumption instead of calling it the proportional odds assumption. Um, but it's the same thing. So we could do brand o probe it, and we get the same results. Okay, so that's it for this video. It's just how how to run and check for um, the parallel regression assumption. All right, so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.